I grew up a starry-eyed kid who had his gleaming eyes bent on his father's shoulders. Same place where he pins his golden stars, just like my grandfather's. I never searched for role models outside, but my home was a constellation. And even though sometimes it gets a bit gory, every dot I connect tells a story. In fact, every time I draw my family tree, I do so in olive green. It is the color of camouflage, which is to say that the names they disappear far too often in a jungle full of people that they are not remembered. But that's okay. My only consolation for this treasured constellation is the fact that they're alive. The others, they made the supreme sacrifice, family names, being reduced to blood stains and bullet holes, never to return again as a whole. Children with scarred souls, constantly changing places, taking their toll, constantly dismissing declared dead, denying death to settle for something less, like missing in action. A huge fraction of my friends haven't had the liberty of remembering fathers as protagonists returning home, just yellowing letters from the days that were better. I still remember how in the third grade I told my mother that I probably don't love dad as much anymore. For three years he was hardly home and we were alone, staying in the separated family quarters, learning to be patient, getting sick of all the waiting and staring at the calendar, waiting for the phone to ring. And my mother, she would sing. She said, don't you worry. He's coming back home in the morning. Coming back home at last. He'll bring us our second chance. I said, mom, don't stress. I'll do my best. Keep him right there in your arms Away from harm, far from the dark Mom and I have been waiting I have learned to be patient I don't know where your station But I've been learning to be like you Fortified in a basement I could be your replacement Just come home, we'll swap places At least try to I have friends now who have grown into their father's boots Training to jump off planes with parachutes Vowing to uphold the ethos of Nam, Namak, Nishan Never bowing to but laughing at the idea of death Rolling on to the burning tarmac with bare backs in the scorching sun, skin peeling off their blistering backs, all in an attempt to build a better spine, a spine that wouldn't bend even to the peril of their lives. I know of widows who refuse to embrace the white, trading it for the uniform with a spirit that refuses to conform to helplessness. This one is for the restless mess we were as kids. This one is for every soldier killed, everyone who came back. Standing or wrapped in a flag This one is for those tigers in that hill And kids who refuse to hate still This one is for the Sarva Dharmasthal Where Muslims eat at langars And Sikhs who celebrate Eid This one is for the North Indian officer commanding South Indian men with an admirable command Over languages like Telugu, Malayalam and Tamil This one is for the Shaheeds and cadets in academies For everyone going through hell For everyone who picked a brother up and they fell. This one is for the ones who branded their soul with Seva Parmo Dharm, duty the highest religion and the noblest goal. This one is for those who shed words like caste and greed to adopt duty, honor, courage instead in their vocabulary for everyone who understood that when a soldier bleeds, he bleeds not different shades of red but the uniform olive green and it's the color of camouflage so you know exactly what I mean. It means that the names they disappear sooner or later in a jungle full of people so when you go to sleep tonight 
light up a candle, keep it by your bedside, listen to your heartbeat, blasting like cannons in the memory of the ones who give up their today for your tomorrow. Mom and I have been waiting, I have learned to be patient, I don't know where you're stationed, but I've been learning to be like you, fortified in a basement, I could be your replacement, just come home, we'll swap places, at least try to.